All right, friends, today I'm going to teach you about how we can use the magic wand tool here as a stencil. All right, so I got this cute little puppy here. who I want to be the background for my meme that I'm going to make. And let me give it a nice caption. Okay, I think that's a pretty good caption. Here, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. But I don't want the text to be black. I want the text to be blue and sparkly. And I want a blue and sparkly heart and a blue and sparkly hammer and sickle. So how are we going to do this? What I'm going to do is I am going to take my blue sparkles here. Here's my background. I'm going to make a new layer underneath my text. Control V. So I put the blue sparkles behind the text the way I wanted it. And now I'm going to use my magic wand tool as a stencil to cut out letters from my blue text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layer of my text. I'm going to set my magic wand setting to addition to add. That means I can click multiple places all over the page and it'll just add to the areas that are selected. And I'm going to select everything except for the letters themselves. And I'm going to select the inside of all of the letters too. You got to be careful. Go back down to my sparkle layer and I'm going to just hit delete. Now, if I make my original text invisible, I have some sparkly letters. But those are kind of hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black text and put them behind. And I'm going to use my moving stuff tool to slowly just make some shadows. And we don't have to just stick with shadows. We can do highlights. So I'll duplicate my layer with the with the black text, I'm going to go to adjustments, invert colors. So now it's white and I can move it up here and I get a nice little highlight. Escape. Isn't that cool? That's much easier to read. See if I can do the same thing with my heart here. Okay. Oh, heart's too small. We can, it's okay, we can shrink it down. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to select the heart itself. I'm on the layer of the heart. Going to go down here. I'm going to hit Control C. And go back to my original meme. Add a new layer. Every time you paste something, you want to add a new layer. Control V. And now I have my sparkle heart because we cut it out because we selected an area the shape of the heart and did control C on the layer where the sparkles were. So now we were able to copy and paste the sparkles. So I'm going to shrink this. I'm going to tilt it a little bit and then I'm going to shrink it down to fit in the corner real nice. Okay, so I set my magic wand tool on the replace setting, which is its default setting. And I'm going to go back to my layer with my heart. Now I can't really click on the heart itself in order to select the heart because it's too heterogeneous to select. Here, what do I mean by that? Let's go back down to the background layer. So when you're doing, when you're using the magic wand, the most important number that you have here is tolerance. So what the magic wand does is it selects all of the pixels that are in the area touching it that are uh, the same or similar color. And the tolerance shows how similar the colors have to be before it will select them or not. So if I turn the tolerance up, it'll select pixels that are even slightly similar, but if I turn the tolerance way down, it'll only select pixels that are the exact same. And this means that the magic wand tool really is not useful at all for 
selecting things on a photograph. Ah, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Control Z, escape. All right, so I'm gonna go back up to my layer where my heart is. It's on the top here. I'm gonna make sure I have a layer underneath it. All right, so I'm gonna set my magic wand tool here to subtract. I'm gonna hit Control A, and I'm gonna click outside of the heart, and now I have selected an area the shape of the heart. So I'm gonna go down to this bl blank layer here. Uh, I'm gonna go to look at my colors, and I got black and white just like I want. So if I make the heart invisible, you can see an area that's shaped like the heart is so there. I'm gonna use my fill feature I'm going to right click to make it white, make another layer here, I'll put this one underneath, make the white invisible, and then I can left click to make it black, because in paint.net, your primary color is the color you get when you left click, and your secondary color is the color you get when you right click. Close out of that, escape, deselect. Okay, make those visible again. Okay, so I have three hearts, a sparkle one, a white one, and a black one. So I'll take where the, select the layer where the white one is and move it up just a little bit so I can get a highlight. Take the black one, move it down just a little bit so I can get a shadow. Hit escape. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with my hammer and sickle. go and since this thing here is a solid color I think I'm just gonna all right Control C, make a new layer, Control V, put a corner, adjust it a little bit, go tilt it a little bit just for funsies, and make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And since I just copied it and pasted it over, it's already, it's already selected, so I'm just not even going to bother with the magic wand tool again. I'm just going to do one layer where it's a left click and another layer, layer where it's a right click. Deselect, go to my white layer, got a nice little highlight, go to my black layer, nice little shadow. And I could save duplicates from all these layers, but I think I have it exactly how I want it, so I'm going to hit can save as, PNG, there we go. So basically what we did today is we learned that we could use the magic wand tool to select a rather complex shape. And then by doing stuff with the layers underneath the thing we selected, we can copy and paste images from the thing underneath what we selected. And we could use the magic wand tool as a stencil.